What's up guys? So this is version 3 of my portable pizza oven that will cook a Neapolitan style pizza in one minute. Version 1 was made from a beer keg. Version 2 was my attempt to make stainless steel but then I cladded it in tile which came out great and beautiful. But I wanted something a little lighter. Enter this guy right here. It actually kind of looks like a curling rink. At least that's what my buddy says. Anyways, let's cook some pizzas and I'll also show you how I made it. All right, let's get into it. Start rolling out this piece of uh, 22 gauge sheet metal. By using a slip roller and rolling the sheet metal into an arch shape, the stainless steel is less likely to warp because this pizza oven will be subjected to temperatures of in excess of 900 degrees Fahrenheit. And because my slip roller isn't wide enough to make the pizza oven in one sheet, I had to roll it out into two. I welded together the two pieces forming the outside body of the pizza oven. So what I'm doing here is I ring rolled a piece of stainless quarter inch round and I'm going to use it to reinforce this seam here and I'll just provide just a little bit more structural integrity. Probably not necessary because it's already pretty rigid but I just want a little extra because when it starts heating up it might start warping. Here I'm welding a small strip of stainless over the seam, more for aesthetics than strength. This here is a stainless steel piano hinge that I'm using to make some foldable legs. Here I'm just cutting an opening for the rear burner, but that'll come later. Alright, so next up I'm working on the inner liner. I ring rolled the two pieces of metal and I'm just welding it together just like I did with the outside. I love using the plasma cutter. I could have used a sheet metal shear, but this is more fun. This bench top metal shear paid for itself after the few times I used it. Again, another tool like the plasma cutter that's super satisfying to use. They aren't expensive, 
but they do take up a bit of bench space. What I'm making here is a flame diffuser. Effectively what it does is it redirects the intense heat from the burner across the ceiling of the oven instead of directly onto the oven liner. Where the flame has direct contact, I use mild steel as it has better thermal conductivity. If this was stainless, it doesn't radiate or absorb the heat as quickly and it ends up being a hot spot. The remainder of the diffuser is made from bent stainless steel sheet. Here is the finished oven liner. It's not too heavy, but still pretty robust. So I have a few videos on my channel on how to make the burner, so I won't go into super detail here. Here I'm miter cutting some one inch stainless steel tube for the bottom stone burner. I cut slits into the tubes with my bandsaw. Then I weld up an S-shaped burner from the tubes. For the orifice, I think I used a 1 16th of an inch hole. I'll post in the description a link with more details on how to make this burner. This here is a half inch pipe nipple. I'm flattening a spot to drill an orifice. I don't have any footage of building this burner, but you can see here how it's mounted in the rear of the oven on an angle. I also bend up some stainless steel sheet for a wind deflector to keep the flame from blowing out when it's windy. This next part, I'm just plumbing the system for propane. Using a combination of copper tubing, flare fittings, and ball valves, I plumb the system so I have all the control valves at the front of the oven. I use liquid pipe thread sealer on all the threads ensuring an airtight fit. This is a deburring tool. I clean off the end of the cut copper tubing before using the flaring tool to make the flare. By the way, flare fittings are awesome. Makes plumbing the system a breeze. I use a regular barbecue propane regulator to feed the burner system. Not sure how many BTUs it is, but it is one I had just kicking around. And it feeds both burners. The plumbing could be a bit cleaner, but I'm pretty happy with how it came out. The front of the oven is simply a sheet of stainless with an arch welded to the perimeter and opening with also some additional supports on the inside. The front of the oven had a barbecue thermometer mounted. We're going to max out the temperature on it, but it's nice to have it on there just for reference and it looks kind of nice. The floor of the oven is a piece of corderite. This material is awesome and don't mistake it for a regular pizza stone. This thing is durable and you can apply a direct intense flame to it. Here we go, the finished portable pizza oven version 3.0. This oven has no issues getting up to the temperature to cook a Neapolitan style pizza. 
The ability to able to adjust the heat of the floor independent to the main burner allows for precise control when cooking pizzas. Here you can see the flame hitting the flame diffuser and it's working as intended. When the rear burner is wide open, it sounds like a fire-breathing dragon. It took just under 10 minutes and I was up to cooking temperature. My first cook was some naan bread. It was absolutely perfect. Doesn't it look great? It wonderful. Light, puffy, and delish. The intense heat almost mimics a tandoori oven. Okay, let's cook some pizza. Look at that. I've upped my dough game. This is a nice, poofy, airy, Neapolitan style dough. I also did a pre-fermentation with uh, Poolish, and it is uh, just beautiful. Having cooked a few pizzas in my other ovens, I think I've gotten the hang of the process. Turning the pizza every 20 to 30 seconds is key to getting an even cook. I even get really good leoparding on the crust, but I can turn the heat down and cook thicker pizzas if I want to. Well, that's it for this build video. I hope you enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell icon to get notifications. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye for now. Just listen to this crust. And this has been sitting around for a few minutes too.